everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video i hope that you are doing great today and we've got quite a bit to talk about so as you would have seen from the thumbnail and the title there is that massive system that front unfortunately it has resulted in some deaths in the u.s and many injuries as well many persons have lost their properties and it's just a very unfortunate situation especially now that we're heading towards christmas you know it's a time of giving it's a time of coming together with your loved ones and just enjoying each other's company but unfortunately we've had this massive system ripping through so we're going to be talking about it and what impacts it could have on the caribbean because there is going to be an increased risk of flooding across some areas so we'll be talking about that as well as the rainfall forecast we'll also be looking at whether or not we could actually feel that temperature difference uh especially for those of us in the northwestern caribbean so with these fronts coming down sometimes that massive cool air can actually dip into the caribbean and bring us some cooler conditions and also i posted a new video to my second channel weather extras this is not actually the one i wanted to post but seeing the news of the thousands of dead fish washing ashore in parts of jamaica i decided that i'd be doing a video about that so you can go ahead and check it out the link to it is posted in the pinned comment down below so let's get into what is happening right now in terms of the tropics and here we can see that massive front making its way across parts of the u.s we can see that it is extended from mexico all the way through the eastern u.s and up to canada as well and out in the atlantic we can see another frontal system that one will eventually dissipate and we're seeing some convection out there not really being a bother to anyone but uh, just offshore of Colombia, we can see that cluster of all that activity. So right there has been quite active. Let's zoom in more to that front. And here we can see it across the U.S. Also another weather system moving through, bringing some snow across some areas and some inclement weather. Now, as it relates to the Caribbean, we're not seeing where anything too major is happening at the moment. Seeing some convection just along the northeastern portion of Nicaragua. So that has been resulting in some rainfall and more rainfall activities possible there as we head through the rest of today. For the ABC Islands, there has been some showers moving through. You can let me know what's been happening for your area. Similar story across the Lesser Antilles. So there have been some passing showers at times coming from the east. And also for Puerto Rico and even the Virgin Islands, heading toward Hispaniola, Jamaica. It's been on the sunnier side for most of today, but then as the day goes on, we could still see some passing showers here and there. Similar story for parts of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, and over in the rest of Central America. Of course, that front is coming. It will be bringing a lot of rainfall to some areas, the portions of Mexico, the Yucatan, headed toward even Belize as well, portions of Cuba, and even the Bahamas and Florida. So the northern portion of Florida is already feeling impacts from the system. Persons a bit further south haven't been uh, experiencing too much, but that is going to be changing. There's going to be a lot of rainfall as the system continues its journey. Now, this is a forecast chart for late tomorrow. And here we can see that the front is expected to be in the Caribbean, extending from the Caribbean and out into the Atlantic. So it's going to be loitering around for some time. And as a result, it is going to be increasing that risk of flooding, especially for parts of northern central America. So we're going to be looking at the rainfall forecast for the rest of today and also as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. So we're kickstarting things looking at the expectation for today this is the euro model and here we can see that some areas are very colorful with these shades of oranges and reds which indicate some of those areas which may experience a bit more in terms of substantial rain so for much of the caribbean islands as i said earlier just those passing showers at times but things get a bit more colorful as we head towards central america parts of northern south america as well particularly for colombia as we saw earlier there is some activity within the area but elsewhere little to no rainfall some areas may even get a heavy downpour uh as we are seeing for the bahamas it's quite colorful up there not seeing as much color for the turks and caicos islands indicating that there may not be too much as it relates to rain for the rest of today now as we go out into the next couple of days this is as far as the euro 6z forecast goes it's the latest update and so it only goes out to a few days 90 hours up to the point i'm recording this 
and we're seeing some of those shades of those purples and even those pinks as well within the vicinity of Central America. This is up until Wednesday of this week. So a lot of rainfall is expected with that front stalling within the area and all that moisture. And we're going to be looking at what the model has to show later in the video in a moment, really. Going on to GFS. GFS going a bit further out here to Friday of this week, the 15th of the month. And here we can see somewhat of a similar story, but GFS is not showing as much rain compared to what Euro is expected. Nonetheless, there is going to be that flood threat for portions of Central America, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, even along the coast of Costa Rica and Panama. There is going to be that risk of some significant flooding even. So please stay safe, guys. As we take a look at what GFS has to show, this map here is from a different perspective, so it may look a bit weird. However, this is the temperature anomaly map. As we go toward those shades of blues, that is indicating below average temperatures. Meanwhile, those yellows, those reds, those warmer colors indicate above average temperatures. So I showed you guys the surface chart forecast for tomorrow with where that frontal boundary is expected to be. And behind that boundary is a mass of cool, dry air. So we're seeing those blue shadings representing that cool air that is going to be reaching as far south as possible parts of Central America going toward Mexico, Guatemala, even for Belize as well across some areas. But a lot of cool air isn't expected across the entire Caribbean. But what we can also expect is those winds increasing. Uh, conditions getting a bit windier for some of us and it has already been quite windy so as the week goes on that's going to be enhanced uh, due to the front and we also want to look out for another front which may come as we head into next week that one may actually bring some cool air a bit further into the caribbean this is what gfs is forecasting for wednesday of next week the 20th of the month there is seeing some of those blue shadings reaching most of the bahamas most of cuba the cayman islands jamaica central america and i mean many of us would love this it's been a very hot year now how about what the models are forecasting for the next couple of days let's kickstart things taking a look at the gfs now all these green shadings we see they indicate the precipitation rate and there's heavier rain when we see some of those shades of yellows oranges and those reds so uh, as we're going to be heading through this week going into tomorrow here we can see this front making its way down continuing and all of that increase in moisture across the western caribbean for central america and then take a look at this it gets fed up to the north and we see that area of low pressure forming and all of that activity being pushed into florida as we head into this weekend so we'll definitely have to be on the lookout for that eventually that next front develops and take a look at how extensive it is so this could be bringing a lot more rain to parts of the caribbean is the euro in agreement well the euro doesn't go as far out as the gfs but as we head into tomorrow and even going into tuesday we're definitely seeing all of that rain across parts of central america as i mentioned so it is highly likely at this point here, guys, we've got the front and conditions will be deteriorating as the day goes on for some areas, parts of Florida, even toward Mexico as well. So please stay safe as best as you can. And of course, I'll continue to keep you guys posted on all that is happening. So that is it for right now. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be with the wise.